Hey guys, welcome to the Rainbow Reels with Panos and Matt. The trailer for season three has been out for a while, but obviously we had to finish season two. Yes. Which we just did. Yes. It was wild. But um, yeah, excited to see what's going to happen. Let's go. I would have dreamt of the skull. If you can, um, listen. <gasps> wow. Ooh, show us. Steamy. This already looks a lot more like cinematic, no? Private life, no babe. Oh my god, he's gonna give it to August. There you go. Oh. He's gonna let go of it. Hela skolans framtid hänger på den här utredningen. Investigation. Eller ska kanske helt stänga med omedelbar verkan. Wow. Wow. Så ska du kunna ta över efter mig. Wow, she looks old. Someone attacked him? I have goosebumps. Oh no. Another rift between Love them. shouldn't be this difficult. Oh, she's back. No, the music room again! Oh, oh this is crazy! Okay, huge party. Uh, okay, I Wow, wow, wow. What do you think? What did we just see? Wow, lots of explosive moments. I don't moments. think I'm ready for it. Maybe we need another two years. <laughs> A little break. You can wait two years. You I'm going to watch it by myself. <laughs> You're going to binge it. Um, oh, lots of explosive in the music moments. Room. This oh. music room needs to be removed. Enough. It needs to be burned, yes. Yeah. So a lot of fighting. A lot of fighting. August and Villa. A lot of... Um, yes. But also a lot of nice moments between Villa and Simon. That have, however, still interrupted. They're being interrupted a lot by yeah. Abrazzi. So it seems now, obviously, now that the whole thing is out in the in the open between them and uh, between Villa and Simon. Yeah. Simon obviously is now also in the spotlight, where the media is probably all over the place. All over the place, taking pictures. Yeah. Maybe his family as well. Yeah. Right. And and then they said it at one point. Now, obviously, because Simon is with in a relationship with uh, Villa, everything he does will reflect on to the royal family as yes. well. Yes, you know that scene where young Olaf says something. The threat level has increased drastically, mm -hmm. and then they show that rock and the um, and the glass shatters yeah. and everything. And then you see Villa, um, Simon. Maybe that was. Simon's living room or something. I think so. Maybe it is. Maybe Simon's maybe Villa place. was there and someone tried to attack them. You know. Yeah, maybe. So maybe there is something that could happen to his family, or you know, they are intertwined in a way at this point. You see, there will be a lot of fights, like we said already, with between him and August. Mm -hmm. That scene where he says to him in that huge room, "I won't allow you to take over." Yeah. To take. You will over. never be my family, or something. Yeah. yeah. You know? But then slightly before that, I think it's, you just hear the voice, but I think it's Christina who says to Villa, one day you will, you will be a great king. No, that, yes. Yes, he says that was Christina. That yeah. was Christina. So. I have a feeling that he will give up the throne. I have a feeling. At least the trailer had this kind of undertone, right? Yeah. Especially when uh, when there was a scene where Simon says, um, "Why do you, why do you want 
um, the title. Like, yeah. well, look what it does to you. Like, look what it does yeah. to us. Look, look. It just seems, obviously, there's going to be a lot of drama and everything, um, which then the royal court has to deal with. And Christina is obviously saying, well, you need to take over one day. But with all this drama and everything happening, mm. how how can that be? Well, I mean, listen. So after drama- all, August might still get what he wants, you know? Yeah, but also it's going to be like this for a couple of years. And then the public is going to be... Like, there is not going to be anything new because, you know, yes, it's new. They have like a, a, you know, a gay or, you know, the crown prince is in a relationship with with another boy. But at the same time, after a couple of years, it's going to be old news. So Christina also just needs to chill. You know, it's it's hot. Like, it's a hot topic right now, but it's not going to be a hot topic when they're 30, 40 years old. Calm down. But I agree with you. I have this feeling that August will get what he wants. It feels like it. Sarah is also back, like we've seen. Mm-hmm. There will be some sort of um, um, redemption. It seems like it. That she is also having an interaction with August. We saw in the trailer. She has interactions with the girls. Question: Will we see Federica and Stella end up together? <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Give us a happy. Maybe that's the happy ending. That's the happy ending they will show us. That's the one happy yeah. ending. That's the one happy ending. Wow, lots lots to go through. It's happening sooner than later. Thank God. Thank God. We don't have to wait. <laughs> this one doesn't have to wait. Um, it's like two months left till graduation. It's going to be like this every day till then. Det är tre Jonas på engelska. Alltså de har så mycket att se fram emot. De ska ha sin spek, de ska springa ner, de ska ha mottagning, de ska finna saker. Felice seems destroyed. Mm. Disconnected. Disconnected. <laughs> Yes, they are a couple. And leave them be. They are. So what did they say? It was one month or two months? Two months. Two months. That's the clip? <laughs> Guys. Oh, just show us the episode already. <laughs> Literally just a teaser. I mean, tiny. Tiniest. Teaser. Okay. I mean, it just basically shows us he's been away for two months. Yes. No. It doesn't show us he's been away for two months. She, Maddie said it's two months until graduation. Oh. But so, then also, like, they haven't they seen, haven't him seen since his anniversary. So much time has passed. Not so. sure. But the girl's obviously busy planning and everything, mm. and Felice is somewhat disconnected, right? You could see she is just in her head. But then she gets the yeah. message from Wilhelm. I guess also, obviously, without Sarah being there, without Wilhelm being, being there, you know, she probably felt a little bit alone. Yeah, like we said, you know, she had she had a very genuine friendship with um, Sarah, and we've seen it in the comments, you know, a lot of people, and we understand Felice's reaction at the end, like, we can see it, hmm. but they did have a genuine relationship, and in the moment, yes, she did react, and it was valid, but Sarah also, when she was speaking to her, when the, when the teacher was in the room, she mm-hmm. said, listen, this is how I felt. I loved him. I was blind by it. I was blinded. I see it now, right? And the day after, when Sarah is actually gone, you can see Felice is like, oh. Yeah. She, they she didn't kinda... really have a chance then to speak again, no. you know? No, no. So it will be interesting to see how they are going to pace the first episode of the third season because there is a lot that, right, it, at the end of the second season, it feels like the group has broken apart again. Yeah. But in the first episode of the of the third season, it feels like the group has to come together again, right? So how are they going to weave? Yeah. And please, give us a happy ending for Federica and uh, Stella. <laughs> no? Yeah, that would be nice. But I think mainly we need a happy ending for Simon. For the and boys. Bella. Yes, we do. And no Team August t-shirt. No, that's been burned already. (laughs) Right, this was the clip. 
It could have been a little longer, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but thanks for being here again. I hope you liked the trailer reaction as well. Thanks as well for reacting to the whole, uh, for not reacting, to being with us for our reactions for the second season. And we will see you for season three. Take care. Bye.